Today, I went to the end of LEGO Fortnite, and I brought you guys along with. If you want to follow along on my journey, make sure you like the video and subscribe right now. And yeah, enjoy, boys. So my village is almost level 10, which means I will be able to start inviting villagers to my village. And I do need a place for all of them to live. So I'm going to just make a little area back here. I think I want to put it over in this corner. And I'm not going to make it too big, but I'm just going to add a little area for all of their beds to go and everything like that. From there, I'll end up adding decorations and different items within the actual building. But I am going to keep it the style of this right here where it's really open in the front. And then as it goes back, you know, it, it has their beds and everything like that. I'm going to quickly build this and then we will see if any villagers want to stay at our village. It is level 9 and I do just need to get my village rating up and then I'll be able to upgrade it to 10. So I should be able to do that once I'm done building that right there. But I do have a lot of vines over in my snow village. So I'm going to quickly go over there get the vines and then come back and I'll start building the rest of this. My other plan today is to actually go to the end of the map. I know it sounds like absurd. Like I didn't, I honestly had no idea that there was an end of the map, but I was playing with one of my friends yesterday and we went to the edge of the map. I don't know how we didn't die on our way there, but we didn't. So that's my plan today is to build a spaceship and then make our way to the edge of the map and kind of just check it out. I think it's going to be really cool. Oh, do I not have a glide? Wait, why did my glider not redeploy? I don't know what was going on right there, but it would be really cool to go all the way to the edge and then dude you can just see forever and then the map gets super small but i don't know if i'll go that far out i do not want to die obviously and lose all of my stuff so we'll see what happens first things first i will have to upgrade my village just a little bit once i build everything i will make my way over to the edge of the map we will be making a spaceship as well so i might have to make like a little area to put the spaceship but we'll see what ends up happening and if you guys know how to get rid of these trees permanently please let me know because i have no idea how to stop these from growing it is the most annoying thing ever but you know it it is what it is let's see if anybody has any food i believe i just collected this okay he has a little bit and we'll see what mr slush has i think i just collected him as well okay yeah he only has fried egg which is fine i have so much food on me i have like pizza pie i have these meat pies which dude these meat pies they they give you so much health 20 hearts like dude oh it's it's insane so if you guys don't make these make sure you get those but I'm going to make my way back to my other village and we will start building the whole area for all the villagers to sleep. I think I'm going to build an area to put my spaceship and then I will end up making the spaceship and we will start flying to the end of the world, which it's crazy. If you guys have not seen the end of the world, I, I mean, watch till the end. Just trust me. So this is what I have come up with. I did a very similar style to what I did before with like the pillars and everything. I did that below as well, but I'm just going to add a like five beds in here because that's the max amount of villagers as of right now is five villagers so i'm going to put five beds in here i will also need to go to one of the snow caves very soon so i can get a good amount of iron and then i can actually light up this entire area so that will definitely be needed as well but i'm just going to be adding beds for right now once i add all of these beds i will be able to upgrade my village to level 10 which will be really really nice but I do need to get a little bit of wood. So I'm going to quickly just chop down a couple trees and then I will add the beds. And now we will be able to upgrade our village to level 10. So I added all the beds and I will be adding lighting and probably I'll add like a couch right here with the TV on the wall and like stuff like that. But now I want to go to the end of the world. I do need to get a couple items. If I remember correctly, I do. I am going to be using the large thrusters and then I will need to make balloons as well. So I'll need to get some silk fabric, which... Honestly, isn't too bad, and I think I might have a good amount in my chest over here. Oh, yeah, I can upgrade my, my village. I think I have all of this stuff. Let me quickly check what I have all in these chests over here. I think I'm going to have enough wool, wherever it is. Okay, I only have seven. With these seven pieces of wool, I'll be able to start making the silk thread. Is it silk thread? Hold on, am I thinking of... So, no, I do need silk thread, so it's not wool. I need the spider webs. Okay, let me see how many spider webs I have really, really quick. And if I do not have enough, okay, I have 30. Okay, that, that should be enough, hopefully. If I do not end up having enough, obviously, I am going to have to go and get some spiders. But what, that's 45. You need five to make one, I believe. Here, we'll just click quickly place all of these in here. And we'll just start making 30. I believe you need five per. So, yeah, five per. And then what do we need? We need four balloons in each corner one big balloon in the middle 
So we need two here and then four. So we need six total. I believe I will have enough because six times five is 30. So I put 30 in here. So we just gotta wait for that to start crafting. But in the meantime, what I'm going to end up doing is getting some flex wood. I believe I have flex wood in here somewhere. Okay, yeah. I have four, which I mean, I only need four. So that'll be literally perfect to build this. So I'm going to quickly come over here and then I'll just end up placing this. I guess like right here is probably good, right? Like it's not in the way of anything. I'll be able to lift up and then I'll be able to start flying in a certain direction. So now I just have to wait for all this silk thread to be made. And then when it's done from here, I come over to the loom and I make the silk fabric. So I'm going to just do this really quick and hopefully I don't end up dying on my spaceship and it doesn't self implode. We'll just have to see what ends up happening and dude, I'm, I'm actually so excited to go to the edge of the world. It's, it's going to be amazing. Before we start building the spaceship, I got everything to upgrade my village. So here we go. There we go. We got a level 10 grassland village. That's my second one actually. But, but now we have a level 10 village here. We almost have a level 10 snow village. I think it's like level 8 or 9. And then my sand village, that's just my house. So I haven't upgraded that at all. I will upgrade it just to get the prefabs. And I believe, I can't think of what the prefabs are right now. But if I remember, they're pretty cool. Um, I don't believe they're this Japan. Oh, there's they're castles. I remember now. Yeah, they're castles. So they're they're pretty cool. But now it is time to build our spaceship. And to do this, I'm doing something very simple. I'm just going to be adding two thrusters and then balloons and an activation switch. And it'll allow me to get there. And then I will have to flip everything around when I get there. And then I will have to get all the way back. Obviously, I do not want to be stuck at the end of the world. So I'm going to quickly make these up into rods. And then we should be able to start building this thing. So I have officially got all of the materials to build this spaceship. And I do want to make sure I make these thrusters even or else I am going to be going at an angle and I need more one more wooden rod which I think I had crafting so let me quickly run up here grab that wooden rod yep we got five perfect and we will be able to place the next thruster to do this it's super easy I mean you can make like a much better spaceship you can make one that like obviously you can turn you can you can do a lot of things you can you could add chests to it but I'm just doing a very very simple very easy spaceship um, I, I do want to make sure that it, everything is completely even so now it is time to start adding the balloons. I believe you can add two balloons without it lifting. And then on the third one, it will start lifting. So I'm going to place this one like that. And then I do want to take my time. Okay, there we go. So now we are officially off the ground and we can start flying. This is literally insane, but now it is just time to start going. Uh, Mr. Village, bye. It was great knowing you. I hope I did not forget anything. And I really hope I do not end up dying. And oh my gosh, I... The, that almost just, I almost just fell doing that. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So we got to quickly go and I hope nothing is in front of me to where I hit it. And honestly, I have no idea how long this is going to take. This could take a really, really long time. And oh my gosh, you can see my, you can see my house right there. Okay, this is crazy. We might see some pretty cool things. I don't know how long it takes to get to the end. Last time I did this, it took like 45 minutes, but I don't know. Maybe that was just super unlucky that I like was just really far away from the way I went or maybe it really does just take 45 minutes we'll just have to wait and see but yeah I, I just hope I do not die if I end up dying this is gonna be a bad this is gonna you, you guys will never see this video so I'm gonna quickly get flying and if anything interesting happens if I almost pass away if anything crazy happens oh my gosh okay I, I do not want it to lag we need no lag. If there's lag, we are in trouble. We get to the end of the world with no problems. Oh my. Whoa. I am so close to falling off. Okay. Quickly move over here and then push it again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to quickly get to the end of the world. If anything crazy happens, like me almost falling off, you guys will definitely see it. But I'm going to quickly fly over there. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. I did it one time before. But it was in creative, so we will see how this goes. This is this is crazy. This is literally crazy. Guys, I think we have finally made it. It is sunrise, and I've been literally flying for like 30 minutes. I went across like two snow biomes, a sand biome, and then another sand biome. But we did it. I think this is the edge of the world. And honestly, I don't want to fly too far out or else I might die. But what if there is something out there? I, oh, I don't I don't know. I could end up seeing if there is more stuff out there, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to end the video right here. We're at, literally at the edge of the world, and oh my gosh, this this looks... Oh, I actually clicked the button. Okay, well, 
I, I mean, I accidentally clicked it. Oh, well. But this literally looks insane. This looks, this is, this is incredible. Like, the end of LEGO Fortnite, I am looking at it right now. It's actually insane. We did it. We finally made it. But if you guys enjoyed this video and want to follow along on my journey in LEGO Fortnite, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I appreciate you boys.